We're tracking our next front. I will call it a cold front, but not much of cooling is going to be taking place as this front slides in, but it could generate maybe a small chance of showers and thunderstorms, but the chances of, the, of that is really slim to none. And when it comes to the um, uh, model data, I've been looking over the past few hours or so, but right now it is inbound and approaching us. But again, the mid levels of the atmosphere has been really dry, so that doesn't bode well when it comes to moistening up the atmosphere for showers and thunderstorms. Live dual pole Doppler radar is all quiet. It's been fairly quiet, but the Storm Prediction Center is holding steady with its marginal risk pretty much draped for most of our communities throughout the next several hours, between hours of 5 and I'll say 10 o'clock. So many storms that do develop, if they develop, could generate maybe some damage in wind gusts and large size hail, quarter size hail being associated with some of these storms. Here's our most aggressive model. Most of the model data, again, has barely anything showing up as we approach 9, 8, and 9 and 10 o'clock. But here's the best chances of showers and thunderstorms if they do develop as this front slides in. We're all quiet throughout the overnight. So just keep yourself weather aware if you have any late evening plans or hitting out. We could have some storms develop across the area, clearing throughout the uh, overnight with temperatures cooling into the lower 60s and upper 60s. Northwest winds return, so we're off to a pretty mild and humid start for your first Monday morning of August. We're looking at steamy conditions. Certainly will feel that way by the time we approach the afternoon hours. Upper 80s to mid 90s by the afternoon. A high temperature of 95 degrees in Omaha, 95 in Lincoln, 94 in Beatrice. Looking at the lower 90s in Columbus, 87 degrees in Carroll, lower 90s in Atlantic. So above average temperatures. Not only for tomorrow afternoon, that will continue all throughout the next several afternoons. We're looking at the hottest afternoon for Tuesday, a high of 101. Kill could feel closer to 109. We're looking at the mid 90s for your Wednesday, but check it out. We have sporadic chances of showers and thunderstorms, but again, sporadic will be the key word. Here's the overall setup. This dome of high pressure setting up near the Four Corners region and this jet stream pretty much we're going to be right on the borderline of that here in Omaha, so we're going to have small in, impulsive type of sporadic storms that could develop because of the byproduct of the heat and humidity that we will be experiencing all throughout the afternoon for your Monday. Here it is Tuesday night into Wednesday. More cloud coverage, but again, maybe a 10 to 20 percent chance of some dotted showers and thunderstorms. So impact weather mainly because of the hotter temperatures rolling in our direction. Certainly a heat wave settling in all throughout the next six to seven days. Again, the hottest afternoon I have on the seven days 101, but 101, 95, 94 is going to be hot. Keep yourself uh, hydrated and keep yourself safe and just keep yourself inside. Sure. Nice, cool AC weather. <laughs> it's safe, but it all kind of feels the same. Yes. <laughs> okay.